So today we're going to be looking at some spam uh, that actually had an HTML document attached to it, which is uh, a little weird. And we're just going to be looking for what the document is doing, what kind of information it wants, etc. So looking at it in a uh, text editor, we look for any kind of uh, submit buttons or post requests, etc. And we see here that there's a weird IP with a PHP uh, script attached to it. We can go ahead and use Python to set up a uh, simple HTTP server to go ahead and host the file for us. And we go ahead and set up our Burp Suite proxy to intercept any requests or posts that the HTML document does while it's open. So here we see that the HTML file is actually a phishing page uh, meant to look like Bank of America. So here we use a uh, simple form filler to go ahead and fill out most of the fields. And here for the uh, card information we just fill in a bunch of random numbers. And upon submitting we can see that it's uh, submitted out to the IP we saw before to the PHP form and all of our data uh, will be parsed on the other end by that form. So what we're doing at the very end here is just uh, having a little fun and we'll go ahead and parse out all the fields where information was put and we can just throw a bunch of random data into the fields uh, just to mess with the spammer to kind of fill up his logs with a bunch of useless information. Due to this being a uh, Burp Suite uh, free edition, uh, the bandwidth limitations are in effect, so you really can't fill up his logs too quick, but it does send a uh, quite a bit of useless information and does fill it up a little bit at least. So yeah, with that uh, burp suite, we'll keep going and just randomize those words throughout the fields. And um, that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty simple phishing HTML page that's looking to get the user's credentials and personal information uh, for identity theft later on. 